Mercedes just kicked off the automotive portion of CES with a new concept with incredible range numbers, thanks in part to updated battery tech and sleek styling. The EQXX, yep, that's two X's, is the next generation of EV from the German automaker. With incredibly smooth and aerodynamic styling and a new battery pack, Mercedes states that they'll have a range of 621 miles. An impressive feat, but more importantly, it'll do that from a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack. With that sort of range from that size battery pack, that would make this vehicle the most efficient on the road with an energy consumption of six miles per kilowatt hour. To put that into perspective, the current efficiency king, the Tesla Model 3, gets about 4.16 miles per kilowatt hour. The automaker was able to pull this off thanks to a new battery chemistry it built with partner HPP. Mercedes says that it'll have a pack that's 30% lighter and have 50% less volume from a 100 kilowatt hour pack. That's a huge win for efficiency. The lighter the pack, the less weight the vehicle has to drag around and of course that leads to better range. But like all EVs, it's more than just the battery pack. The sleek design contributes heavily to the vehicle's range numbers. It has a drag coefficient of 0.175, which is better than most everything else that's on the road today with most of them hovering around 0.22 and 0.24. It also uses a lot of lightweight materials from the F1 inspired subframe to the lightweight brakes made from an aluminum alloy. The concept is built on one of the automaker's EV platforms. The MMA, or the Mercedes-Benz Modular Architecture, is a system that was built for compact and medium-sized vehicles. The system also gets a bit of a range boost from the 117 solar panels mounted to the roof. Mercedes says that in ideal conditions, it could add an additional 15.5 miles. Not a huge amount, but as the technology matures, this could be a good option for those living in sunny climates to get a little extra something out of their EV. The vehicle also introduces a 900 volt architecture to Mercedes-Benz EVs. The current Mercedes-Benz lineup is based on 400 volts, which limits the recharge rate. Currently, only Lucid is sporting a 900 volt system in a vehicle with Hyundai and Porsche offering up 800 volt supported EVs. Mercedes didn't offer up details on recharge rates, but it should be in the mid to high 300 kilowatt range with the company saying we should expect a vehicle to support adding 186 miles of range in 15 minutes. It also teased new charging technology coming in 2024. So it'll be interesting to see how they're going to make this vehicle charge even quicker than what we're seeing on the road now. Inside the concept, Mercedes unveiled a 47.5 inch 8K mini LED display that runs the entire dashboard. Like the EQS, it has the zero layer interface, but it has been updated for the concept with 3D interactions. Elsewhere inside is the expected concept interior that's minimalistic and clean, with a few floating elements and glowing accents. The materials are eco-friendly with names like Milo, a vegan leather made from mushrooms, and Desert Tex made from cactuses. The carpet also gets the green treatment made from 100% bamboo fibers. Does it look cool? Yeah. Will you see it in a showroom? Probably not, but the materials will likely start seeping into the automaker's lineup. In fact, as with most concept vehicles, many of the elements you see on the stylish EQXX will disappear as the vehicle, based on its technology, makes its way to market. And while the EQXX looks fun and outlandish, the real news is the battery technology. Cramming 100 kilowatt hours into a smaller pack means that smaller vehicles will be able to post huge range numbers. But it also means that the smaller packs could post impressive numbers even without the very slippery drag coefficient of the EQXX. Mercedes says that this spring it will prove to the world that the EQXX can post a 620-ish mile range from a single charge. That means in a few months, we'll see an actual working version of this vehicle, not just a show car that can only drive up to 30 miles an hour. Of course, we have no idea what something like this will cost, but we do know the powertrain will be placed into a vehicle in 2024. So for people who are obsessed with battery efficiency, we have something to look forward to in the next couple years. For more automotive coverage from CES, be sure to subscribe to Engadget.